Hi again everybody, I'm doing a second video today while I have the chance. I finally got my hands on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. I'll tell you what, I've had the hardest time getting this and it's not a hard product to find but I was on the Sephora website, it said it was in stock at my Sephora store so I go out there and know they don't have it. Um, but they were going to get it. Then I was at the mall another day and I stopped by to see if it was in the store yet and the lady said it was going to be in the store on the shelves the next day. So I sent my husband out there. He works at the mall part time and so while he was on break he stopped by Sephora and asked if they had it and they said they didn't even have it in the store. So I decided that I had had it with Sephora trying to get this product so I went ahead and ordered it from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, website and after you spend $25 or more you get free shipping for well, this product this foundation is $25 so I got free shipping and it came in just a couple of days so I should have just done that to start with huh? Let me go ahead and put my glasses on and we'll get uh, a good look at this. It's a nice little sleek uh, tube here. It's a stick foundation. It's black with a rose gold band and the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo. Very pretty, very sleek. On top it has the A and then on the bottom it has the label on you know what it is uh, and I have the shade porcelain. You will find more shades on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website than you will if you go to a Sephora website. So you would just look at AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and then look for the stick foundation and you will see there are quite a few uh, shades available. This is the shade porcelain. I think there is actually a lighter shade uh, than this but I'm glad I did not get that shade because this one is light enough for me. It uh, is a, of course a twist up and it has the product that comes out the top and the shade is very light but you know it blended in really well. It goes on very smooth, very creamy. Uh, I used about one and a half applications to get uh, a medium to full coverage. I think this is more of a going towards the full coverage. One application would give you a medium uh, coverage depending on how much you use. Now I just apply it kind of like making cat whiskers on my face and then across the top, down the nose, the chin, and I bring a little bit down uh, to the neck, blended it out with my flat top foundation brush. And then I went over a little bit more with another application, uh, just like under the eyes and on the cheeks where I have a little redness and just a little bit more. But So I used about one and a half applications uh, to get this uh, finish, which was a beautiful matte finish, just what I like. Um, I've only had it on about three hours. Uh, but, or two and a half hours, but I have been running around the house and I've cleaned the kitchen and I've taken out the trash and I've done laundry and I get very sweaty easily. So I was kind of working up a little bit of a glisten and the makeup stayed really nice. Um, but uh, so far so good. It's only the first day I've used it. I really like it. I know it's so hard to tell with this chintzy little uh, laptop camera. But I really do like it so far and I definitely will be getting this product again. When you get a, a stick foundation, I don't think you get as much, not near as much as you would if you got it in a bottle uh, as a liquid or even a cream in a jar or something. But you know, with these higher end um, foundation products, I only use them uh, sometimes I don't use them as my everyday products, so this will last me a little bit longer than you know it would if I used it every day. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, and this is the shade Porcelain. Like I said, they had several shades. They even have one that's a little bit lighter called Alabaster, I think. That would have been very pale, so I'm glad I got this because this is 
just about right for me. Um, some people have better luck. Well, some people have not had good luck blending out a stick foundation with a beauty blender. Uh, I didn't even try that. I just use my flat top foundation brush for uh, foundation anymore. Once I got it, I just have not used a beauty blender um, for my foundation anymore uh, unless I am just patting it in after I have blended it out. But I barely even do that. I just apply it straight on with my uh, flat top brush blends in very nicely, buffs it out well. I really do like this so far. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills is fast becoming one of, or is actually becoming one of my favorite high-end um, cosmetic company. And I'm looking forward to her making new products and getting them out on the market really soon. All right, everybody. This was a very quick video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and with other YouTubers. Um, everybody have a wonderful, blessed day. Jesus loves you. I do too. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.